Now we're going to take a look at adding a cross-section sheet uh, to this same uh, DGN lip. So we've done a plan sheet, we've done a profile sheet, now we're going to do a cross-section sheet. Uh, we do need the uh, 3D model view opened, obviously, to do this, if you've ever done that. Forgotten to open your 3D model, you know, you get a nice little message about that. So we're going to do a save as. This will be, I believe, our third file. This is going to be our, our cross-section test here. So we'll put that name in. Do a save as. And don't, just remember, you do need to restart. I don't think I put that in the video, but actually I did. So I want to exit, come back in. I'll open up that new file. So after you create it, you need to exit and come back in. All right, so we'll place name boundary, and we'll go to our cross sections. I'll typically pick one of my old ones just to fill in the dialogue and then set it back to none. Pick my scale that I want to create here. We'll do 10 scale. Set my offsets, my interval. Get your vertical exaggeration. I'm just going to do a one here. Set my clearances if I need to. Start location, pick my alignment, right? So I'm placing cross sections on the same one that I did in my plan sheets, so that's fine. Uh, with cross sections, make sure you use the exact same start and stop location. I forgot to put the name in, so my bad. I put a little note in the video for you. Uh, you'll see that I forgot to go back to the name and, and type that in. Go to our create drawing dialog and we will put in our name here. I had to type it because I didn't have it in my clipboard because I forgot to put it in the first dialog. And I can copy that to my clipboard, paste it in the other ones. So this would be our uh, section view. And we'll put in our default drawing model name and our, select our scale again of 10. Select our annotation group for our cross sections. This is just going to be the grid with annotation. And our default sheet model name and set that scale. And OK. And the cross section is a little bit different. We'll grab our uh, drawing boundary handle, move that over, place our title block. And you probably should use AccuDraw and get this centered as best you can. You know, I don't, you know, you could eyeball it, but that's kind of, it's kind of an easy way out. Turn off your custom scale. You know, again, use AccuDraw and get it centered. Just don't forget to snap your corners. We get a lot of support tickets. People forget to snap their corners on their cross sections. All right, so that's that for the cross sections. And then we're going to move on to our next one, getting tight on time. Changing the cross section display styles. A lot of people miss this one. The display styles need to be changed to wireframe to avoid uh, seeing 3D material slices on your cross sections. There's a couple of different properties we need to change. So let me jump over to hit that one. This is a real quick video, but we're going to go to our drawing model, open up our properties panel, and select our name boundary here. And we want to go down, expand down to the actual name boundary, and then go to your cut display style, set that to wireframe. And then the same thing on your extended. I usually set that one to wireframe as well. That way you're not going to see materials and all that um, in each of your cross-section components. Go back to your multi-model view. And I typically like to go ahead, uh, for my cross-sections, I'll go ahead and rotate this. Kind of an isometric look and feel here. And then just a habit, save settings, compress every time. Okay. All right, moving on. Changing the annotation group. What happens if I pick the wrong annotation group or somebody renamed my annotation groups? Why would I want to do that? To keep the user from having to go in and manually pick them every time. All right, so, well, we can go in and do that. We can make those changes after the fact. So maybe we've had a name change and we need to go reset that. All you have to do is go to your drawing model using the, I believe the profile here is my example, into drawing production. And you can just go remove drawing model annotations, yes. But you don't do that to all models here. Just, just this one, right? That's important. And then annotate the drawing model. Again, just this one. So we'll set that to no. Pick the correct annotation group here. So I'm going to navigate down. I'm going to find out the one that I want to place. 
profile grid and accept that. Now you got to remove it. All right, so remove drawing model annotations, and that's all you have to do. So now the next time somebody goes to use this one, it will be there. Now, of course, you do need to go in to explore and delete all your annotation definitions and groups. Don't forget that. Make sure we get that done every time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.